What's going on guys? Today we're going over the spoilers for My Hero Academia chapter 291, which reveals more information on the past of both Dabi and Hawks. We also got confirmation on the true colour of Toya Todoroki's hair, as it seems that Horikoshi is trying to fix the differences between the anime and the manga. Just before we get into it, be sure to subscribe for more spoiler videos like this, and remember that every Sunday on Twitch, I do a page by page reaction to the full official translation. I really enjoy doing those streams because the discussion in the chat is always great, so yeah, be sure to stop by on Twitch this Sunday. Okay, so the name of this chapter is Thank You For Being Fine, which I suppose has two different meanings. The first and most obvious reference is towards the end of the chapter, in which Dabi goes in to attack Endeavor and thanks his father for being fine up until today. And this is presumably because, you know, Dabi wants to attack him and possibly kill him personally. On the other hand, I'm sure Endeavor is internally grateful that his son is still alive because, you know, for all these years Endeavor thought his son was dead, so to see that he is alive and well, I guess he would also be thinking in his head, thank you for being fine, something similar to that. Anyway, the chapter kicks off with an image of a young Toya Todoroki standing up, and at this point he's probably around 11 or 12 years old. We can see flames raging behind him, and the narration states that Toya died inside a fireproof room. According to the fan translations, this room reached a temperature of over 2000 degrees, and it's implied that Endeavor was not with Toya when the accident occurred. After this, the only thing that remained of the eldest Todoroki son was a piece of his lower jawbone which was found, and uh, that's pretty horrific. It's still unclear how Toya survived this accident, although my theory is that a third party was involved and pulled his body out from the flames. That way, only his bone remained, which would make everyone else think that the rest of his body was incinerated. The next scene shows us an even younger version of Toya, and this panel was really interesting because he actually has a smile on his face during training. At this point, his hair is red, but Endeavor notices that some part of his hair is actually starting to turn white. Toya tells his dad not to worry about this, and asks Endeavor to teach him his ultimate move, which of course is Prominence Burn. In the next panel, we see Endeavor with a smile on his face, which shows that, you know, Endeavor and Toya did actually have some kind of good relationship at one point. Because Endeavor mentioned the color of Toya's hair, it is now officially a real plot point, so the anime has no choice but to make Dabi's hair white when we get this reveal. Previously, the two times we've seen Toya's hair in the anime, uh, his hair has been red, whereas in the manga, it has consistently been white, even in the scene which was shown in the anime. In the chapter last week, we got our first indication that Toya's hair changed colour during this panel, and uh, this probably happened due to stress of all the training, or maybe Ray's genes were starting to kick in. Let me know which one you think it was down below, but yeah, either way, the fact is, Toya was born with red hair, but it turned white after a while. The narration continues, and it describes Toya as someone with stronger firepower than his father, but lacking the icy power to neutralize his overheating. Ray suggested to Endeavor that she should have more children so that the siblings could support each other, which resulted in Fuyumi being born. However, Fuyumi only possessed the ice quirk. While Endeavor wished for a child with a half-hot, half-cold quirk, he wasn't angry at this time because Toya still had more talent than he did, and he believed that if he poured all his energy into this child, then Toya would fulfill his ambitions. The chapter then moves back to the present day, and we see Dabi still standing on Giganto Makia's back, while Shoto and Endeavor are just looking up at him. According to the fan translations, Endeavor doesn't believe what Toya said, but then the eldest Todoroki son mentions how he did a DNA test using blood he got from Endeavor during the Pro Hero arc. The DNA test proved that there was a 99.9% .9 match between Dabi and Endeavor. And in fact, this test was shown as part of the broadcast that Dabi was sending to the whole of Japan. We see that Natsuo witnesses this broadcast on his phone, and understandably his face is in complete shock. Meanwhile, Fuyumi is teaching a class of students, but is interrupted when someone bursts into the classroom to tell her the news. In the middle of a random city in Japan, we can see that Dabi's broadcast is even on the big public screens, um, so it just shows you that literally everyone is seeing this. Toya asks the public if someone like Endeavor is worthy of the title of number one hero when he has such a dark past and when he's a person who only ever thinks about himself. The scene moves over to Endeavor's biggest fan, who is the kid from the pro hero arc. At first, he didn't want to believe the broadcast, 
but then we see him start to scream as Dabi continues to reveal more information about the heroes. At this point, he's now moving on from talking about Endeavor to talking about Hawks, and Dabi broadcasts the moment in which Hawks kills twice to the entire country. I think it's important to remember that Hawks had his feathers completely bugged with all these different cameras, and so Skeptic probably just acquired the footage of Hawks killing twice by just checking the recent recordings from one of his feathers. Dabi begins to rub it in by saying that not only did Hawks kill twice, he also killed Best Genus. And as if that wasn't enough, Toya then continues and reveals that Hawks' father was a villain, which is something I've suspected for a long time. Back in the Endeavor Agency arc, it was mentioned how Endeavor once captured a thief named Takami, and as we all know, you know, Hawks' last name is also Takami. According to Dabi, Hawks' father was a serial killer and a thief before Endeavor captured him, which is possibly the reason why Hawks idolizes Endeavor so much. Now, if we just take a step backwards, Dabi has exposed the top two heroes at a time when faith in heroes is already, you know, it's already on the decline. I mean, we had the incident during the pro hero arc, and then we had Daker City during the My Villain Academia arc, and then, I mean, in, in the present day, we have Gigantomachia destroying countless cities. So faith was already shaken. So the fact that he's now exposing the top two guys, yeah, it's not a good time for the heroes. Back on the battlefield, Endeavor is just too shocked to even move a muscle, and Shoto screams at him that he, you know, he needs to move. We see that Shoto has tears in his eyes as he yells at Endeavor to protect Midoriya and the others while he and Nejire will deal with Darby. During the last few chapters, Shoto and Nejire have definitely become a dream team that I just never imagined would happen. Toya then jumps off Gigantomachia, and despite his frail body, he begins to activate the Prominence Burn attack. This is of course the ultimate move which he asked Endeavor to teach him during the flashback, um, but honestly, we, we've never seen a Prominence Burn with blue flames before, so it's possible this is the strongest version of the attack that there has ever been. As Dabi approaches, he thanks Endeavor for being fine up until today, but as he gets closer, we see some steel wires begin to smash into the ground as even Gigantomachia begins to fall over. These steel wires are the work of Best Genus, who literally jumps out of the jet he was in alongside the, uh, the wires themselves. The chapter ends with Genus saying that he is returning to hero work starting today, and uh, I'm sure Dabi will be super pissed to see that Genus is actually still alive. I guess he has no choice but to kill Best Genus in the next few chapters to, uh, to make himself not look like a liar. And yeah guys, those were the spoilers for chapter 291. As usual, let me know what you think in the comments down below, and don't forget to check out the live reaction to the official chapter on Sunday. Next week, there won't be a new chapter, as Horikoshi is taking a break. Um, but there will still be other videos on this channel, obviously, so be sure to have your notifications on and, you know, hit that sub button if you haven't already. Until the next one, peace out.